Nearly three years ago, Kate Edwards lost her mother, Elizabeth, to breast cancer. Last year, Kate walked into court every day with her father, former senator and vice presidential candidate John Edwards, at his corruption trial. Now she's stepping up for other families as the spokesperson for the Count Us, Know Us, Join Us campaign. It provides resources for people with advanced breast cancer and their loved ones. Kate Edwards, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you all. We know you well because we followed your family in yes. politics, and now you have an announcement about your own future. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, so I've just joined uh, this organization, Count Us, Know Us, Join Us, or Count Us for short, um, as the spokesperson. And it's an organization that's focused on giving attention and resources and support for women living with advanced breast cancer, which of course my mom had. And you think there's something different about advanced breast cancer and as opposed to other diagnoses. What do you mean? Well, when my mom was first diagnosed uh, with advanced breast cancer, it was the first time I realized that you didn't fall into a category of survivor or someone who lost their battle to breast cancer. There are actually people who are living with uh, advanced breast cancer and, and who will be living with it, you know, for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a different mentality. It presents a unique set of challenges and a unique set of um, uh, a unique set of kind of goals mm -hmm. and um, the mentality sort of shifts to let's treat this let's get through this to uh, I'm gonna live with this and I want to make every day count mm -hmm. you've so, been through a lot in the last three years when you look back on your life what helped you get through it well the most I, I mean I've garnered strength from um, from my experience my experience with my mother for example um, uh, you know seeing her strength and going through something like that you really gain a lot of perspective about life. Um, and I, and that, and also I just have an incredible support system, my family, my husband, my friends, uh, and, and I've relied on them to a great extent. She would want us to know what about uh, living with breast cancer? Well, I think she would want us to know a few things. First, that, uh, that it's okay to, uh, it, it's okay to be sad and down on some days, uh, but most of all, you want to be optimistic. And her mentality, her outlook uh, when she was diagnosed with advanced breast cancer was to make sure that she made every day count. She didn't know how many of those days she was going to have left. You know, we have all heard that you and your dad are at a good place now. You know, the story's now been well documented that he had the affair uh, with Riel Hunter that ended up with a baby. And I'm wondering how you have navigated that, how you've managed to come to a good place with your dad. Well, I mean, I think one of the toughest things is to forgive someone. Um, and it's a lot harder than holding a grudge. Yeah. Uh, but he's my dad. He's my family. I love him. We've been through a lot together. Mm -hmm. What's he doing? Uh, so he's been spending a lot of time with uh, the kids, and he's really been enjoying his summer. The kids, yeah. How yeah. old are Emma Claire and Jack? They're 15 I remember when they were and 13. Little. Yes, they're not that little anymore. They're growing <laughs> up really fast, actually. And do you all have a relationship with baby Quinn? How is she? Is she incorporated in the family, too? Yeah, my dad spends a ton of time with her, sees her on a regular basis, and they have a really great relationship. It's really good to see you, Kate. Really good. good and you got you. married too. We should say you got married. I did. I did to a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I did to Trevor. We have a we have a beautiful marriage. It's almost two years now. Kate Edwards, great to see you. Thanks for joining us.